Easter, fellas. Happy, happy Easter. Easter. I am so happy to be here celebrating the resurrection of Jesus with you. It's one of my favorite stories to tell along with the Christmas story. How'd you know? <laughs> you can read today's story for yourself in the first four books of the New Testament. We call those the Gospels or the Good News. The Gospels tell us the whole story of Jesus, God's Son, who came to earth to be our Savior. After what would be his last supper with his friends, Jesus and his disciples went to pray at the Mount of Olives. When Jesus was finished praying, he was approached by a crowd led by Judas, one of his 12 disciples. The men arrested Jesus, even though he had committed no crime and led him away. Later that same day, Jesus was nailed to a cross in front of a crowd of people filled with friends, family, strangers, and people who didn't like him. He was mocked and betrayed, yet still asked God to forgive them because Jesus loved all of them. And then Jesus died. Later, a man named Joseph buried Jesus in a tomb cut in a rock. No one had ever been buried there. The women who had come with Jesus from Galilee followed Joseph. They saw the tomb and how Jesus was placed. They then went home to prepare spices and perfumes to bring back to the tomb after the Sabbath. A large stone was placed over the entrance of the tomb. Very early on the first day of the week, the women brought the spices they prepared up to the tomb. But when they arrived, they found that the stone had been rolled away. They couldn't find Jesus anywhere. The tomb was empty. Suddenly, two men in clothes bright as lightning appeared. The women were terrified. The men asked them, why do you look for the living among the dead? Jesus is not here. He is risen. The women ran to the disciples and told them everything they saw and heard. But the disciples didn't believe them. Peter ran to the tomb and saw the strips of linen lying by themselves. Later, the disciples were discussing where Jesus could have gone, when suddenly he appeared before them. They were surprised and terrified. Jesus said, may you have peace. Why are you troubled? Why do you have doubts in your mind? Look at my hands and my feet. It's really me. He showed them the scars on his hands and feet, but it seemed so impossible. Jesus who had died was alive again. Jesus told them about the scriptures that said the Messiah would suffer and rise from the dead on the third day, which Jesus fulfilled. This miracle would inspire his followers to preach his name throughout the world, telling people to turn away from their sins and be forgiven. And that's why today we're celebrating the good news that Jesus is alive. I never get tired of that story. Yeah, it gets better and better every time. Hey, thanks for sharing it with us, Kellen. You guys are so welcome and happy Easter to everyone. I'll see you next time. You know, it's amazing to be reminded that even though we have fun with family and friends on Easter, it's not all about games, candy, and eggs. Yeah, it's about reminding ourselves the good news that Jesus is alive. Yeah, he is the reason for the season. All the seasons. Yeah, that's right. Speaking of seasons, it's the season to reveal the question. Why does Easter matter? Hmm. Well, okay, I think it matters because it reminds us just how powerful God is. God is more powerful than death itself. That is incredible. Yeah, and Easter is a day when we can all celebrate the same thing together. By rolling rocks. Even if we celebrate it in different ways. So what do you think? Why does Easter matter? Talk about it together. And happy Easter from the, the So and So Show. Show. See ya. So you don't, you don't, you've never done the jelly bean toss before. I mean, I've done it now. Yeah, but I, prior to that. No, not never. What do you never. think of it now? Um, I don't think it's right. <laughs>